Hello guys, welcome to Valoti Online Classes. Guys, today I am giving you one challenge. Can you solve this particular problem in 5 seconds? Like this is square root of 2275 within 5 seconds. If you can solve, then I will assume like you already know it and you can leave this video, okay? But if you do not know, just stay with me for 2 minutes and I will explain you every step to solve this kind of question. How to get the square root of large imperfect numbers, okay? So let's start and see how we can get this square root of this number to solve this question we will put a point after two digits from right hand side so one and two so here we will put a point and then we will write 10 outside so we will write this number as a 10 outside and then after these two numbers we will put a point so 22.75 why i have written it because if we will multiply 10 inside it will become 100 and then hand multiply this number with 100 it will become the same number so both of these are the same numbers so that's why i have written it so in the next step we will approximate this value because in this trick we will get the approximate answer not the exact answer if you will calculate with the calculator you may get slight different answer okay so just do the approximation of this number so that will be 20 3 right 22.75 can be written as 23 so what we can write at place of 22.75 is 23 now we just have to get the root 23 value and we will multiply that with 10 so we will get our answer so we know that 23 will be between 4 square and 5 square right and 4 square is 16 and 5 square is 25. So 23 is coming between these two numbers, right? Here, somewhere it will be here. So how we will write the root 23? So for that, let's write down 10 first as it is. And then we will multiply because we are getting the root 23's value. So that how we will get it, write down the smaller number. So smaller number is 4 smaller number is 4 and then plus and then difference between these two difference between these two is like 23 minus 16 is 7 right upon difference between these two so that is 25 minus 16 that is 9 so guys that is your answer you just have to solve this one and you will get your answer so 10 into 4 plus 7 by 9 will be like 9 7 63 so 0.7 and again it will remain 7 so 9 7 63 so 0.777 like this one you will get so it will become 4.777 if you will add both and then multiply with 10 so you will get your answer as 47.77 so that is your answer Guys, it was so easy by applying this trick. So we will do one or two more questions. Okay, so let's see next question. So let's apply the same trick over here in this question. Like after two numbers, we can put a point here and then can write 10 outside. So it will become 10 root 87.46. Clear? And now we can write the approximate value of this one. So it is less than like 5. We can just write it as 87. So what we can write? 10 and then root 87. Now we know like we will just write 10 and after that 87. See where it comes? It comes between 9 square and 10 square because 9 square is 81 and 10 square is 100 right so it comes between these two so we can just write 9 over here because we write the smaller number where it comes like 87 comes between 9 square and 10 square so we write 9 over here and then write a plus sign and after that we have to write the difference between these two so difference between these two is 6 upon difference between these two so difference between these two is 19 right so this is our answer we just have to solve this one and to solve this particular thing what we can assume like on the downside at place of 
19 we can just assume 18 so it will become easy right or you can solve this one as well so if we will assume as 18 then it will become 9 plus 6 by 18 why we assumed at 18 because we are just calculating the approximate value right so in the points there may be difference but at it will be approximate value so if we change that to 18 now we can cut it so it will be like 1 by 3 right so it will become 10 into 9 plus 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 means 0.333 right so it will be it will be 10 into 9.333 right and then if you will multiply this with 10 our answer will be 93.3 we applied the same trick and we solved this particular problem in few seconds only we took time because i want to make you understand this particular trick okay so let's see one more question on uh, based on this trick so suppose we are given this number and we have to get the square root of this number so we will apply the same trick and we'll solve it so before proceeding further if guys you have enjoyed this particular video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are watching for the first time and then press the bell icon to get the notifications so let's start on this one we will put a point after these two numbers so we will just write it as 58.78 right and then here 10 and then we will approximate this particular value so it will become 10 root 59 right now we can write we have to get the square root of 59 and we know this 59 comes between 7 square and 80 square so 7 square and 80 square right so 7 square is 49 and 80 square is 64 we will just write 10 and then the lower number 7 and then plus sign and then difference between these two is 10 and then difference between these two so difference between these two is 15 so 10 into 7 plus 2 by 3 right if you will cut it by 5 like divided 5 both sides so so 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 means 0 0.667 so 10 into 7 plus 0 0.667 right so our answer will be 76.67 right so that will be our answer so that was our video guys and uh, now i will give you one question so you have to solve that question and then write the answer in the comment okay guys so that question is root 6520 so this question is for you guys and you have to solve it and then write the answer in the comment box if you have understood this particular trick to solve this kind of a square root say okay guys so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are watching for the first time thanks for watching